This is the city of Belfast as viewed from the Castlereagh Hills towards the east during one of those twilights in the month of May that just seems to last for an hour or two. So it was about 11 o'clock at night and I took a whole bunch of photographs and stitched them together to produce this panoramic view. Now I love doing panoramic shots, I love the sense of scale and the detail that you can get from them. But whenever you upload them to Facebook, in order to get them to upload in any kind of decent time, Facebook compresses them a lot. So you'll get a view like this, but you've no idea just how much detail there is waiting to be discovered. So let's head on in and have a little bit of a look and see what we can see. We zoom in here towards the centre of the city. Um, in around about the dock area, this is the Blackford Dolphin. This was a fabulous uh, oil rig that came all the way across the Atlantic Ocean from uh, Brazil to be refurbished in a Harlem Wolf. Talking of Harlem Wolf, of course, there's the classic iconic cranes of the shipyard that dominate Belfast skyline. But if you follow up from the top of the oil rig here, you'll see a little bit of a mountain in the background. That is Slemish Mountain in County Antrim. And across here, of course, we've got Cave Hill with Napoleon's nose and McCart's Ford. That, again, a really iconic shape. Scrolling a little bit here towards the left, we see some more of the buildings and uh, some of the more recent buildings that have begun to dominate Belfast skyline. There's Titanic Belfast. Uh, that fabulous uh, museum that celebrates and commemorates all the titanic legacy in the city of Belfast. Further across here, as part of the redevelopment before Titanic Belfast, you had Odyssey here. Uh, and further on here still, we have the Obel Tower, which dominates the River Lagan, which is packed in there somewhere. That's the M3 bridge just going across it. You can see just some light trails from cars going across that bridge. The Royal Mail, uh, the BT Tower, and all the way over here, just poking in at this side, is the fabulous dome of Victoria Square. If you've ever visited Belfast, I'm sure you've gone there. That's really worth taking a look at. Let's scroll back to where we came from, where we started. Back in towards the centre. And you can see here Blackford Dolphin again. And then we move here in towards Belfast Lock. This is Carn Money Hill, and you can just about pick out the hills there uh, with the uh, hill in the background with uh, some of the more recent wind turbines, wind farms that grow in there. I know these are controversial, but in this photograph, I think they look quite striking. And further on here, another little wind turbine, the docks in Belfast, and you begin to see some of the detail that's available to view. We scroll back out again. And you see all of that in its totality. Uh, hopefully that's given you a little bit of a sense of just how much detail there is to be discovered. And if you are interested in, in getting your hands on one of these panoramics, they do make an absolutely outstanding uh, piece of signature um, photography on a wall. Uh, they'll fill a wall really well, but you will be able to come in yourself, stand really close to them, and come and explore some of those details that we've just been looking at.